We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the New York Yankees. Aaron Judge, the league's current home run leader, will look to add a long ball or two to his total next. Jordan Montgomery, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Nice so now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1. Dan, as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Just hung in there on that one. Good night for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. This is line to left. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. So it's a good start for the Halos as their leadoff hitter reaches base. Yeah, definitely not the execution you're looking for to pull an outside breaking ball, but who cares? Next day's box score, that's a line drive. Standing in now, David Fletcher, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Montgomery has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. The 0-1. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Here's the 0 and 2. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. 1 and 2. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Set. Here's the 0 1. Hit down the third baseline. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No. And a layoff a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. 
And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Matty, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm okay with it. D-Row, you know one of the things, I guess, with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire. Pitchers seem to like him more than hitters, but one thing I will say, he has a very consistent zone. It's a low zone, but a consistent zone. Two and one. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Line, but speared on a hop. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. So they get to him for a couple of hits in the inning here, but they've got nothing to show for it. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. Shohei Otani, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Now at the plate, DJ LeMayhew. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Maddie, dropping their last game. Now they find themselves at 500 again. They got to find a way to get on a hot streak. You cannot continue to go peaks and valleys throughout the course of this season and ride that 500 line all year at some point you're going to have to take 7 out of 10 8 out of 10 to get this going in the right direction 2 0 count the pitch is taken strike one your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitter's park like this have to get the ball up to do some damage I'm not mad at that take. Now the 2-1 pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Full count now. Three and two. Slider, oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. He was an offensive force in the first half and currently sits atop the league's home run leaderboard. Yeah, Matty, he got off to such a hot start, he was able to relax and just be himself, and he has been absolutely killing the baseball. 1-0 and oh, the count. And now a pitch on the way. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. 1-1. One and one. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Man at first for him following the one out single. Ready with the 0 1. 
Ball one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Now a throw over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Set and the two and one pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is Goodwin. Boom goes the dynamite. Two run blast to straight away right field. Number 25 for him on the year. And this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. You want to certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. So digging in now, Gary Sanchez. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. First offering on its way. Ah, got him fishing that time, 0-1. Here's the pitch. And he lays off the 0-2 splitter. One and two now. Still only one out in the inning. That misses and we're even at two and two. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. count here it comes high fly ball out to straightaway center Prout giving chase he gets there and that's the second out Giancarlo Stanton now First pitch coming, here it is. Now the 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. Ruled a strike on the outside corner, three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, three zero count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area and it wasn't what he was looking for. Now the three and two pitch. Giancarlo swings and this ball is hit well into left field. Upton going back. Boom goes the dynamite.
A solo home run here off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. And even 30 home runs on the year as the Yankees move out to a 3 to nothing lead. Well, it's very early, but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or he blows up. Could go either way at this point. Here's Brett Gardner now, and he'll be looking to snap out of it in this one. Not having much success at the plate over the last week and a half. Gardner. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Cold strike as the slider gets the outside corner. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Three runs already home here. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Lifted down the line and left. Here comes Upton. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. One inning in the books here. It's the Yankees three and the Angels nothing. Striding forward now is the D.H. Tommy LaStella. He's entering play in this one a home run shy of 20 for the season. Hey we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. One and one to Tommy Lastella. change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball started to chase that time but then he wisely holds off for ball three I can't tell you how big a pitch the last one was the difference between three one and two 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 you're probably taking a turn for the dugout. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. The bouncer to the left side. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. The one away. Ready now for L.A. Justin Upton. First pitch on its way to Upton. Upton or simply Jay up he was a first round pick back in 2005. Yeah Maddie they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name and kids are buying his jerseys. A 2 and 0 count to the Angels left fielder. 3 and 0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And Upton will reach as he looks at ball four. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking deep every time he digs in, so it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away.
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Change up too low, and it's one and zero. Upton, base runner at first with one out. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. The 2 0. 3 and 0 now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the 3 and 0 offering is in there for strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Hard ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly. LeMayhew for one. On to first. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Now in the box, Albert Pujols. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the stretch. And this is taken for a strike by the 40 year old veteran. No balls in a strike. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation. I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. Pitch a curveball that's off the catcher's glove and gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Wow, this manager must be pulling his hair out. Not only does he have to deal with this pitcher walking people, now he's got to deal with his defense tripping all over themselves. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. He went deep last night twice. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Runners at the corners, two men out. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Man, 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning? Ideally, you'd like to have 30 or less after two innings, so he's got some catching up to do. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. And that's through for a base hit. And they're on the board as this is now a 3-1 ball game. Dan, as a former infielder, I apologize for him. Nothing's more frustrating or upset you more as a defender than making an error and seeing that guy come around to score. It, it, you know what? And that's one of those cases as a pitcher, d -Row. There's not much you can do. Listen, there are physical and there are mental errors, and you just have to, as a pitcher, go ahead and look past that now and try to pick up your teammate and try to get it out any way you can. Andrelton Simmons is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one.
Now the 0-1. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Make a good pitch right here and get your offense back in the dugout after only giving up one run. On its way, the 0-2 pitch, and it's fouled away. The 0-2 once more. Two men are on with two men out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. The one two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Two and two count. Here it comes. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at bat. Two down, runners at first and second. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. Good battle. Count remains full. The next three, two. He swung on and missed strike three. Angels get just the one. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Yankees lead this one three to one. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. There's Number no way 29. you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. First pitch of the at-bat. Strike one to start the at-bat. Pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The one two. Line down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. The next one-two pitch. 
Uh, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Now here's the pitch. One ball, one strike to count. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Fletcher backs up and takes care of it. Two away. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Next for New York, Mike Ford. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. One and Two out, nobody on. That evens it up, one and one. Here it comes. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Ball. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Goodwin is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they hang on to a three to one lead. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring in the second baseman, David Fletcher. Here's the first pitch to him. Right down the middle with a changeup, but not what he was looking for, taken for a strike. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. The pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Torres into shallow left, but he won't get there. It falls in. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. In now is Anthony Rendon, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 
Rendon has done the job and the fans have rewarded him as he got to represent his league over the All-Star break. Anytime you can change the scoreboard with one swing at a bat, and this guy can certainly do that, the fans are going to act accordingly. Very deserving that the fans would vote him into the All-Star game. Oh and two here it is lifted in the air toward the line and right but this will wind up being a foul ball. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball gone. So a two run homer down the line in left number 28 on the season and the Angels have drawn even now at three apiece. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout. Mike. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he fouls this one off. No outs, nobody on. lays off this one down and in for ball two tough to lay off a breaking ball that good but he saw it all the way out in front there is this one's pulled off to the left side here now the two two Popped him up. LeMayhew stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Now batter, the designated hitter, Tommy Rostella. So there's the first out here in the Angels' third, and that'll bring in Tommy Lastella to bat next. Pitch on the way. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. Just goes to show if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Justin Upton the next to hit as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. From the belt kicks and deals. Good curveball strike two. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. Two quick strikes and now the 0-2. Popped high in the air. Sanchez has a play. Makes the play and there are two gone now. The right field, number 18. Ryan Goodwin. Now to the plate, Brian Goodwin. Runner in scoring position with two gone.
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The 1 0. And he looks at a changeup in there, 1 and 1. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. A ball and two strikes now. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive and a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Still a ball and two strikes. Urshela is over to take a look. And this one's in the dirt. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Two and two. Here it is. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But the Angels get two, both on this two-run home run. We play two and a half. We're tied now with three apiece. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. The second baseman, D.J. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. The one one. Aaron Judge is on deck. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Digging in now, Aaron Judge. He reached on a single in his first try. He's set. Here it comes. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Runner aboard at first with nobody out in a 3-3 tie. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. And he misses 2-1. and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. 
Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two-run homer. The 3-1. Hard hit ball to short. Simmons has it. One there. On to Pujols at first, and it's a double play. Doesn't come much easier than that. Taylor made 6-4-3 double play and an easy one to turn. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Torres, no one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. First pitch coming. Here it is. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. The 1 0. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. swing and a shot hit down the corner and foul though it had the home run distance here now the 2 2 Three ball. one of the things you want to do with a starter get that pitch count up here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Upton will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Yankees. We played three, and our score, 3-3. Three, three. Jonathan Holder, a six-foot, two-inch right-hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 56, Jonathan. All set for the start of the inning and standing in the machine, Albert Pujol. First safety, number five, Albert Pujol. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Pujols. A 40-year-old veteran. He's in the midst of his 20th major league campaign. Pretty remarkable. Almost two full decades playing at the highest level. Yeah, how do you hang in there 19 years without just being an unbelievable talent, but also having the ability to look in the mirror and be willing to adapt and persevere and change on this field. It's so hard to be good at this game, and this guy for 19 years has gone to the post. Just to throw out some names, you're dealing in the company of guys like Ted Williams, the splendid splinter. Mariano Rivera went to the post 19 years. My old teammate Chipper Jones. Now the 2 1. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now back, the catcher, Jason Castro. Into the box now, Jason Castro looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Pitch on the way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Ground ball foul down the left side. Three runs, six hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. A little bit outside, two and one. Swing and a miss, strike two. 
this pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in one of the best two strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. First delivery to him on the way. Three runs, six hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. One and one to count. Pitch on the way. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that's in there. Base hit. Some success with two away, and the top of the fourth is still alive. Boy, that wasn't a very good pitch there. Up and away. That breaking ball, D roll, that slider intended to be down and away. Instead, it was up and away. Yeah, that was definitely a missed spot right there, Dan. You saw the batter's eyes light up, and he didn't miss it. So now to the plate, David Fletcher. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two tries for him so far. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Angels strand one through three and a half. We're all even at three apiece. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right, Heidi, thank you. Leading off for the Yankees. Ready to go for the last half of the Gary. inning. And next will be the imposing Gary. power bat, Gary Sanchez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Huh. The wind up and the 0 1. Hey. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball yeah, in play man. right now. No he took the hat that. trick with three strikeouts Good. yesterday, oh, no. and here's another one today. Yeah, yeah. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Good. Stanton. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Oh and one here it comes. Good slider there but laid off and called the ball low. Bases are empty one man out. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate.
Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Tough fastball that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. Another full count pitch home. Another one sent foul. He'll try it again, three and two. Drilled right back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one, a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Jaime Berea will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Number 51, Jaime Berea. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Maria tossed a little over 85 innings so far. And when you look at his whip over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number. Over 1.5. So he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base paths, unfortunately. One out and a runner on second base. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch and look out as that one ran in and got him. Now batting. Number Stepping into the box Gio Urshela comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver here's the first pitch lofted in the air out toward right center. Goodwin is over to his right as he puts this one away two down. Now that the designated hitter, Tyler. Striding in once again, Tyler Wade. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. He's set and the pitch. In tight at 93, ball one. Ready with the 1 0. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that's going to fall for a base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. At the plate, Mike Ford, as he rips it on the ground to second, reined in. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Yankees forced to settle for one. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Yankees lead it four to three. A 
ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Ball even at two and two. Now the pitch. Still even at two and two. The pitch. And this is swung on and missed, and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes, one away. Classic slider down and away from the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. In now, Mike Trout, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Goodness, 0 and 2 now. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Tommy Rosella. Here's Tommy Lastella now. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming in, but a different story once it got near the plate. The 1-1 home. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Not particularly graceful there, and as a result, he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play. Now at the plate, Justin Upton. First pitch on its way to Upton. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. From the belt, the pitch. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. Shot toward right center. That gets down, and the inning continues. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now's a good time for your pitcher to take a deep breath. He still has the lead, although it probably doesn't feel like it. So he can't worry about how he got into this mess. He just has to figure out how to get out of this mess. At 
the plate now. Brian Goodwin as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. He's in at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. Here's Albert now. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Pujols is batting exactly 230. Not where he wants to be, I'm sure. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. A ball and a strike now. The set and the 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One and two now. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he could work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Ball, but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. Here's the two and two. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Angels do get a run in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the fifth coming up. All even now at four apiece. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. DJ LeMayhew. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Lays off 1 and 0. Ball two now. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in his zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. There's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. and one. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turn to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. The 3-1. Takes a strike for a full count now. 3-2. Hard on the ground towards short. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. There's a look at the final line for the Angels starter. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Well, you could see right from the get-go that he didn't bring his A game. Had a very difficult time getting through the lineup. And as a matter of fact, wasn't able to even get out of the fourth inning. So the bullpen's going to have to do a really big job of finishing out the rest of this game. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Aaron Judge stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. Now here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. Right to him. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. 
Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Into the box now, Torres. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. So it's a ground ball single to left for him here. His now second hit tonight. Yeah, and there you see the Gary. Yankees leaderboard as he finds himself Ten second in that category. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. This is why pitching is so difficult. You're cruising along to give up a hit. Now you've got to lock in and get this middle part of the order done. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. 2-0 well count, the pitch. This is in the air out to straightaway center. On the move is Trout. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. The Yanks leave one. Five innings complete. This ball game's even at 4-4. Four and four. At the plate, Jason Castro, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And that swung on and missed for strike one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Oh and one here it comes hit back up the middle and that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Hey another leadoff knock right there this game has been full of offense full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear. Him. In now is Andrelton Simmons as he puts it on the ground to third. He's got it. LeMay Hugh for one. Return throw not in time, and that turned into a closer play than I thought it would at first sight. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Well, when you get a ground ball in a double play situation, you always want to turn it, but that was a tough hit to do it on. You don't want to rush and make a mistake and get no out, so that was a good job to at least get the runner going into second. From the stretch. No balls and a strike to count. And there's ball one. Four four is our score as we play the sixth. Fouled off. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The next one two pitch. A ball hit hard to the left side. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Now battle. The third baseman, Anthony Rendon. 
So it's a runner at first with two men out and the next hitter will be the right handed bat of Anthony Rendon. As a look now the pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. After it is Gardner. Long run, but he gets there to track this one down and a very nicely recorded out number three. Angels leave one through five and a half. We're tied at four. So striding forward now, Giancarlo Stanton. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Here comes the 0 1. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. To the plate now, Brett Gardner. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball and then he locked him up with a changeup. One out, nobody on. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. Now here it comes. To short. Taken in by Simmons. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Now back, number 29. Ready now, Gio Urshela. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Simmons is there. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Six innings are in the books, all square, four to four. Ben Heller is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 61. Ben Heller. So now the Angels cleanup batter, Mike Trout, fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. First pitch on its way. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. That was a good swing right there. It might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Lined into right field and it's going to get down. A base hit. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, D-Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. No balls in one strike.
Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Oh. And there's ball two now. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Here now the 2-2. On the move is Trout from first. He swings and misses. Throw down. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. So they can't get the strike him out, throw him out, double play as there's a runner in scoring position now following the punch out. Here's Justin Upton now. Last time through was a base hit. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Ball one to start the at bat. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Runs outside so it goes to two and oh now. On the stretch. Nasty 2 0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Now the 2 1 is laid off up for ball number three. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The 3-2 pitch to the left side, but it's well fouled. Payoff pitch one more time. Thank you, now a slider here, but this will miss off the plate away, and it's ball four. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. Stepping in, Brian Goodwin. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch Ooh, he's really in trouble and it's just getting worse and worse and worse this guy needs to find a strike zone in the worst way can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one from the belt kicks and deals Fouled away. All knotted up. 4-4 the score here in the seventh. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a 1-2 count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Full count now. 3-2. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And 
it's fouled away. Fly ball right down the line and left. Stanton on the run, and they can't run it down. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit out towards second. LeMayhew with a great stop. The second for one. Safe. Boy, that was a smooth play, wasn't it? Great job to lay out and make the stop and then to feed the second from his knees for the out. Pretty impressive display there. Chet Green will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. Number 57, Chad Green. Stepping into the box, Albert Pujols. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Comes set. The 0-1. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. Ready on 0-2. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Fine work there out of the Yankee bullpen. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark, and we are tied 4-4. Noah Ramirez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Late now is the designated hitter, Tyler Wayne. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Tyler From the stretch, here's the pitch. Here it comes, 0-2. Oh. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Standing in now, Mike Ford. No, a ball and no strikes. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-0. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2-0 as a pitcher but if you're going to do it it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order time for a challenge fastball right here though two balls and a strike to the Yankees first baseman and now we see a right hander up and throwing in the angel bullpen. Now the 2-1 pitch. 
is swung on and missed for strike number two. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three two pitch he is swung on and missed strike three. That was a big strike out there guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And he lays off for ball one. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Two out, nobody on. Upper part of the strike zone, a dangerous pitch with the changeup, but he laid off. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Mind to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. He'll get it into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's working on a one for three thus far. In the dirt, Pro goes over to third, and it's too late as he's in there. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Hey. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Here's the two and two. Got a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. One left for the Yankees. Still all square at four apiece.
Into the box, Jason Castro. He's two for three and looking for more here. Jason Castro. First pitch coming, here it is. Trying to work that slider to the outer half, but it misses 1-0. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Now the 1-0. Two balls, no straight. High in the air out to center field. Gardner is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Back to the end Time the now for our starter comparison. Andrew. And that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. Back to the top of the Angels lineup now and stepping in, Andrelton Simmons. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Hey. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. We're in the eighth inning now of a four to four ball game. Swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box now, David Fletcher. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. Stepping in now, Anthony Rendon, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. One and oh, here it is. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Two and one, here it is. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. 
And this is down at the knees, but called a strike. Wow, it's three and two now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance, and the inning is over. Angels strand one. This game's all tied at four. Hansel Robles is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next, the dangerous power threat, Torres. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, this one's tied late in the game as a pitcher right now. You just can't lay a cookie in there, 1 0. Here it comes. Not close. It's 2 0. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Racing back, the right fielder, a leap, and he's got it. Impressive play for the first down. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. Digging in once again, Gary Sanchez. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at-bat. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. Three two pitch. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Under it is trapped, and there are two gone now. Now that left fielder, John Carlo. So stepping in, Giancarlo Stanton. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's just two for 12. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Robles, a right-hander who stands in even six feet. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. The windup and the 1-0. and Left side of the infield into the shift. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. Three for four. He's looking locked in. At the plate, Brett Gardner. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's one for two in this one. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty. Everything on the outer half of the plate. The 
the 0-2. And the fastball sails on him, and that gets away. And a very big mistake, as that'll move the possible go-ahead run into scoring position. And this is why you can't lose focus for a second when you're behind the plate. Any mistake a catcher makes has serious consequences. This is a pass ball, and the runner moves into scoring position. The one-two. Still a ball and two strikes. From the stretch, the one-two. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. One and two. Here it is. To two balls and two strikes now. Boy, that was an awfully close pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound. Got him looking. And that'll do it. The inning is over. The Yanks leave one. Score remains tied at four. Digging in to try it again. Mike Trout. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. set here it comes and we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here nothing in one counts even to trout one and one Now the one and one pitch is a fastball taken high for a ball. Now a bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. pitch and he fouls this one off full count three balls and two strikes to the Angels center fielder Tommy LaStella waits on deck Here's the pitch. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Going back is the right fielder. It's out of here. And they've taken the lead in the ninth. Santa Maria. Solo shot to right center as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Hey, with one swing of the bat, that closer better get ready. He's going to be doing some work in the bottom half of this inning. Zach Britton will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Blake now, Tommy LaStella, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Yeah. 
tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Britton, a California-born ball player. This is his 10th season at the major league level, so almost a decade, which is quite an accomplishment. One run game here in the top of the ninth. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two and two. Here now the 2-2 is looked at and the count moves full. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Now the payoff pitch home. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. And that one is gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And it's now 6-4. to four. How about the work the lineups have been doing so far, fellas? Yeah, hey, Matty V, this big ballpark in the Bronx has that short porch in right field, D-Row. But you can hit the ball out of just about any part of this ballpark. Yeah, this place plays sneaky small. I know it's got big gaps, but right field is so juicy. As a right-handed hitter, you don't feel like you have to cheat. Not surprised by what we saw today. So now to the plate, Justin Upton. One ball, no strikes the count. One oh home finds the zone strike one. Wow I can't believe the hitter took that one the pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. And he lays off for a ball two and one. You know what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Now the 2 1 pitch is looked at for ball three. The 3 1. Takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Boy, oh boy, that's a tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering where the heck was that pitch? I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brian Goodwin. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Here comes the first pitch. Oh. What a no. Upton the runner at first, nobody out. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and one. Oh. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Oh. 
set to deliver on two and one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Adam Ottavino enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Number zero, Adam Ottavino. Into the box, Albert Pujols. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Here's the 1 1. Hard hit toward the hole. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Uh, that's got to be frustrating for the pitcher right there. He's now well that, aware of who's having great seasons and who's having the tough seasons at the plate for the opposition. This guy put him in the tough season bucket, and he just gave up a knock to him. Standing in now, Jason Castro, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Fastball, and this one runs in on him as he has to dance out of danger there. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. As a look, now the pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Finds the zone, a called strike. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stanton giving chase. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Big spot here, runners at the corners, two gone, and standing in one of the best two-strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. He's set, and the pitch. one delivery swing and a line drive and he delivers with two outs in the ninth it's a base hit and the runner scores from third as they extend their lead hey Dero that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning yeah Dan no doubt as an offense all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful giving them that three run cushion has to make you feel good Stepping in now, David Fletcher, as he'll take a look at ball one. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. The 1-0. -oh. 
is looked at for the first strike. Two men are on with two men out. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine, due up in the bottom of inning number nine. Angels are out in front, seven to four. Ty Buttry comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 31. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And set to go is the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. First pitch on its way. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0-1. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. The 0-1 delivery. Oh. Two and two the count. Here's the pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball. A high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. In now, Tyler Wade as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2 0. Too much action on the changeup, and he's behind 3 and 0. Mike Ford is on deck. Now the 3 and 0 offering comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Now back, first baseman. At the plate, Mike Ford. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. In there, a base hit. The relay, and he is in there. That's a big at bat from the bottom of the order. Yeah, Matty, right there. Worked himself into a nice situation, got on. On base right there. Now first and third rolls the lineup over. Top of the order is licking its chops. So the lineup flips over and digging in. DJ LeMayhew and their runners at the corners now. Belt the pitch. We'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Now the 
1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Fouled off. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that's going to fall for a base hit. In to score easily is the runner from third. And don't look now. They've cut the lead down to two. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron. Now time is called and a bit of a curious decision here to say the least as we'll get a pinch runner at third here. Don't know if something's wrong or what. Miguel. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Is looked at off the plate for a ball. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2 1 pitch doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Oh. Runners are at first and third, one away. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Right about now, the manager's questioning his decision to bring this guy in. If you can't trust a reliever to throw strikes, you can't trust him at all. We'll see if he comes to get him sooner than later. Cam Bedrosian comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Bedrosian. Torres will be the first to meet him here and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed bases loaded and only one out now he's set now the pitch fastball in there for a called strike Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Oh, and one, here it comes. Popped him up. Fletcher ranges back, and he has it for route number two. Wow, talk about frustrating. Now Not better. what you Catcher. want to do with the bases Jerry. loaded. A simple pop-up and nothing productive comes out of that. So striding in, Gary Sanchez. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a slider down the middle, but laid off. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Behind 0-2 now.
Last chance for the Yankees. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game, and it took six here to get the job done, but hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. 7-5 tonight's final. The Halos came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Hansel Robles gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.